worked at Steelcase for 24 years and due to outsourcing and downsizing, I had a opportunity to take the early buyout and along with that I had a chance to uh, take schooling at GRCC and it was in the CNC machinist tech class and I thought you know if you're gonna lose your job you might as well look to the future and try to find something better. First, I came here, I work at Bear, I just know, I run a CNC, but only operator, you know, just pressing the button, that's all I do. So, and clean the park, so that's it. So, uh, I never know about anything, what inside a CNC, you know. I never know about how the leg works. Elmer Verberg actually wrote a uh, very nice book full of uh, small steam engine designs and the book is now out of print and um, evidently very expensive for a new copy up to $3,000 but there happened to be a copy in the uh, library so we, uh, we picked up a copy of the book and we took some uh, prints out of that and I've been using that to kind of give them some uh, projects to work on. But the thing I liked about it was the book is full of blueprints and very detailed and very good prints so my more advanced students I can pretty much give them the blueprints and uh, with what they've learned they take off and uh, build these things primarily just using all the equipment in here and using their, uh, their talents and their skills to interpret the prints and figure out how to make these things. I was a student here in the electronics technology program. My father went here back when it was Davis Tech. Someone would send him a picture, uh, a rough sketch, any number of things, and he would work on some of these engines that we see here today. Uh, they're pretty much his adaptation of the pictures, uh, engineered in such a way that the amateur or the model machinist can go out and buy bar stock, flat stock, rods, and put this together without needing castings. You see it, you see the fine workmanship, you see the effort someone put in, and it operates. I think that's the fun part of it. And for the students, I think it's starting with a drawing, an idea, and seeing it to completion, a fine piece of work, and that it's running. I build something myself, you know? So it means I make it myself, so. It's a, it's a little bit difficult, but I take a lot of pressure on it. To me, it's uh, very pleasing because I'm seeing all his work, his efforts to make something that people could use, enjoy, and learn from, being used exactly the way he would want it. The learning involved as far as reading blueprints, developing the um, plans to make a part, what they always refer to as kind of those higher level, those critical thinking skills, but how do we interpret a blueprint, select the materials, do the setup, and uh, run the machine tools to make those parts. And I think those skills are never gonna go out of date or become obsolete and that type of thing. So I think there's a, you know, a very high level of education that's involved in learning how to do this type of stuff. And also I think there's also a very high level of personal satisfaction on the part of those students that when they uh, come in here with say very limited skills in machining and be able to walk out of this program with the skills to make these very highly complex uh, engines, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for them. They have done a beautiful job. They are beautiful engines. They all run. It, workmanship on them is beautiful. Uh, I'm very pleased to see the, the quality of work these two fellows have put into it. I would say they're showpieces. And the fact they all work, even that uh, little uh, pump, little pump water, it's, it's beautiful. And what's interesting is uh, Elmer Verber, when he wrote this book, you read the directions and he talks about using files and saws and that type of thing and of course now in here with the uh, computer controlled equipment is they're really raising the, uh, the level of technology up a lot but really accomplishing the same tasks that somebody else used to do back in the old days with just a lot of hand tools. The things that his father did is just amazing with, with what he had in the time and you know in the day that he did it it's just 
just unbelievable. If the talent, it's almost like he's a genius to be able to accomplish that with the tools and the equipment that he had. Well, it was really, uh, it's kind of fun to, to have the son come in here and see a lot of the same engine that his father created many years ago with uh, using, of course, the modern technology and, of course, a, a new group of students coming up and learning those skills that uh, they needed to make these. When he come back to see all the things, you know, from his father, and I can make it, you know, like it's happened again, so. I hope it makes him feel good to see the things that, that we're doing that his, that his father made. And it's something that's, you know, passing on through the generations. I have seen, I think, all of the engines over the years in various stages of completion. It's very pleasing to me to see it. Uh, it brings back a lot of memories of my father working with it. And uh, he would be, be very proud of these kids.